make a survey of the body. John Fuang had a student one time, a nun, who had one disease after another. So he told her every morning, do a physical exam of yourself using the breath, from the top of the head on down to the tips of the toes. Check out the different parts of the body that are problems and see how the breath energy is going there. This is one way of getting yourself to inhabit the body in a way that feels good. After all, when we're dealing with feelings, it's not just willy-nilly what, whatever feeling is coming up. The Buddha tells us to breathe in a way that induces pleasure, breathe in a way that induces rapture even. It tells us to be aware of feelings not of the flesh. You have to remember that feelings not of the flesh don't happen on their own. Feelings of the flesh, those are coming and going all the time. But a pleasure not of the flesh, that's when the pleasure comes from getting the mind concentrated. You've got to do that. The pain not of the flesh is when you stop to think. There's more work to be done. We haven't arrived at the goal yet. And you want to induce that sometimes, especially when you start getting complacent. We realize that if you haven't seen the deathless yet, then death is going to pose problems. And John Mahabha once had the comment that people who are planning their next, li next lifetime by making merit in this way, making merit in that way, don't really believe in rebirth. If you really believed in rebirth, you'd see how dangerous it is. You don't have time to plan out the next life. You have to do good right now for the sake of getting out. So the thought that you're not there yet, it's a painful thought. Use that wisely. Use it when you need to, to keep yourself going. Things around the monastery are quite comfortable, even though there's some tedium and being here every day, every day. Still, it's easy to let the comfort lull you into complacency. So, great pleasure is not of the flesh, great pain is not of the flesh. And that way you're taking care of the diseases both in the body and in the mind.